Today we'll be using a ball, so if you have one, get it ready. We'll also be talking about breathing more efficiently, so don't go away. Sit and Be Fit is a tone and stretch exercise program designed to strengthen muscles and improve joint flexibility. Not all exercises are suitable for everyone. Consult your doctor before beginning this exercise program. Our instructions and advice are in no way intended as a substitute for medical counseling. Sit and Be Fit is a creation of Mary Ann Wilson, registered nurse, teacher, and recognized leader in the field of fitness and healthy aging. Mary Ann consults with a team of medical and exercise specialists to bring you a fun and effective way to maintain functional fitness. The exercise program you are about to do is effective for any age, but it was specially designed for anyone needing slow, gentle movement. All you need is a chair that touches your back while your feet are flat on the floor. If your back doesn't touch, put a pillow behind for that necessary back support. If you have your exercise band and towel, put them on the back of your chair. Now, get ready to sit and be fit. Thank you so much for joining us. I have some wonderful guests today. We have an all-male class. There's Jeff Brooks, who's a physical therapist, and Brian, and Tino. Okay, put that ball right behind your back. There's a nice little groove in your lower back. It should be a natural curve. That's where this ball belongs. Okay, take a deep breath in. Cover your eyes. Spread your fingers. Open up. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Let's do it one more time. Squeeze. That felt great. Let's do a shoulder roll, pulling the shoulders back, taking a deep breath in. Now we're going to do a shoulder lift, followed by a palm press. You want to lift the shoulder up to your ear and then press the palm down to the floor, just as though you're trying to push the floor away. Ready? Let's lift in twos and press in twos. Lift and press. Keep going. I want you to notice how you feel your shoulders falling right there. Lift. Press your shoulders down. Again, lift and press. Here's your last one. Lift and press. Okay, let's get your whole body in good alignment. Put your hand on your pelvis and rock it forward and back. Then close your eyes and find the spot that feels most comfortable and then hold it there and open your eyes. Now, the rib cage, forward and back, forward and back. Close your eyes, see where it feels most comfortable and then open your eyes. Now touch the chin, forward and pull back, forward and back. Now close your eyes, find where it feels most comfortable, and then open your eyes. Good job. Look over the shoulder, and then look forward and over the other shoulder. Now it's time for some good deep breathing. Hands right here on your belly. Take a breath in, and then slowly breathe out. Did you notice what happened? Take a breath in, your belly should expand. And now as you breathe out, pull that belly button in all the way to the back of that ball. And then again, breathe in, belly expands, and slowly breathe out. Push your back against that ball, and relax. Let's move up to your rib cage. Want your fingertips to touch right here. Now when you take a deep breath in, your fingers should separate. Here we go, big breath. And slowly breathe out. Let's do it again. Breath in and breathe out. We're going to do it one more time. Don't move your hands. I want the rib cage to move them. Big breath. And slowly breathe out. Now open up, pull your elbows back, and now pull the shoulders down and push the floor away. And now bring your foot forward and extend and point and bring the other foot forward and point. Super job. Now, you're going to get that ball right out from behind your back and we're going to use it here with a little more upbeat music. 
We're going to start with a finger tap. You're going to do two finger taps on each finger with a curled finger and then a flattened finger. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, flatten. Next finger, flatten. One, two, flatten. Next two, flatten. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, and flatten. One, two, and flatten. Good job. Okay, now you're going to move that ball forward and back. Use your shoulders. We warmed them up pretty well. Okay, keep it going. Now put one hand on top. Come back. And flip it over. Let's do it to the other side. Okay, come on back. And let's just keep going. All right, we're going to put that ball right here under your arm. And roll it back and forward. Roll it back. Can you feel the shoulder blade? And back. Now roll it back and squeeze it to your body. And again, squeeze. And again, squeeze. One more time. Okay, let's put that ball right here. Now roll it up and down. Up and down. Roll it forward so your elbow's pointing straight at me. And then back. And now take it all the way around. And we're going to do it all on the other side now. Put that ball under your arm. Okay, these guys look great here. How are you doing? Just roll it back and forward. Now roll it back and give it a good squeeze and release. Squeeze it again. Release. Do it two more times. Squeeze. Squeeze, super job. Okay, let's put that ball right here. Roll it up and down, up and down. And now straight forward and back. And this time take it all the way around. Now you have those shoulders really warmed up. And take your ball, touch the diagonal, let go with one hand. Now we're gonna go up and follow with your eyes. It's down and up, down and up. Can you do one more? And then let's change hands. Down and up. Keep going, you have one more. Good job. Okay, let's finish up with some more shoulder movement. Let's take it down. Now while you're down there, put it right here between your feet. Okay, lift your toes down, lift, down, lift and down. These are the muscles you're working here, tibialis anterior. Now hold it up and take it side to side. Let's get the rhythm here. <laughs> Good job. Now put one foot on top and move it forward and back and then circle around. Bring it right here, trap it, move it forward and back, and circle it around. Good job. Now, put your ball away and we'll keep moving. This next routine starts with a posture check, so get ready. Right there. Now your rib cage. Shoulders back and down. Chin is tucked. Okay, let's move forward and back. And now we're going to take one leg out to the side, out and in. And roll it up. Roll it down. Okay, the other leg goes out and in. And roll it up. And roll it down. Okay, here's a change. Turn and turn. And now turn with your arms reaching. Again, turn, turn. Reach, reach. Turn, turn. Reach. Let's change sides. Turn. And reach. Turn. And reach. Can you do it two more times? 
Here's the last set. Good job. Okay, walk in your chair, toe and heel. Now walk back and walk forward. Walk it back. Okay, we're going to work your legs just a little bit more because we're going to be standing up just part way and I need to get some more blood running through your body here. Let's change. Four on this side. And then we're going to do some just marching. But put some arms in there. And reverse. Okay, come forward in your chair. Now put one foot forward, one foot back. Pull that belly button in. Chin is up. And if you need to, you can hold the sides of your chair. Take a breath in, breathe out, and push down on your heels and just lift and down. Let's do it again. Big breath in, forward, push on your heels and lift. Can you do it one more time? Remember to breathe. Good job. Okay, let's bring your feet together and put the other foot forward. Think about that belly button, pulled in nice and tight. Chest is up, chin is over the knees. Take a breath in, breathe out, and just lift. You'll find that if you push down through your heels, that lift is gonna be a lot easier. It's a wonderful functional move. Keep going. Great. Okay, let's reach, 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 and the other side, reach. And reach down. Exercise bands provide a form of resistance training to strengthen muscles and bones. Correct form is important. Keep your wrists straight and breathe throughout the exercise. Remember, you can benefit from just doing the movements so it's not necessary to have a band. If you are using a band but have pain or can't maintain good form, try the exercise without the band. And if you have high blood pressure, check with your doctor before using resistance. Jeff Brooks, our physical therapist, has our tip of the day. You know, Mary Ann, a doctor told me a while back a really interesting thing. He said, if I could get my patients to take between three and five deep breaths every day, I'd probably lose half of them because they'd be too healthy and they wouldn't need me anymore. Uh, what you've been teaching today is outstanding. And there's one thing I'd like to add to it, and that's engaging the pelvic floor. So when we take our deep breath, as we've been doing, we inhale low and wide. Now as we exhale, we pull that belly button in, but we also want to pull in those low pelvic floor muscles that you would control your bladder with. Mm -hmm. So at the same moment, you're pulling it in nice and tight, and then you exhale and relax. And again, inhale low and wide. And exhale, pull up your pelvic floor, belly button tight to your spine, hold it nice and tight, and then relax. Never hold your breath, so you're always moving slow in and slow out. Great. Boy, that's hard to do. It takes a lot of concentration, doesn't it? It does, but once you get it, practice. it does. Yes. You know, can I say one other thing? Of I, course. Uh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> there's a statistic out there that says between 70 and 80% of people that learn how to control their lower pelvic floor muscles can reduce or eliminate incontinence problems. Thank you, Jeff. That's great information. Let's put it into practice now with our band routine. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Lift your shoulders up and breathe out as you relax. Let's do it again. Big breath in, lift. And now, touch your shoulder. Lift and down. Let's do it again. Lift. And now bring that arm across. Let's give a gentle pull. Look over your shoulder and then come back. Let's do it again on this side, lifting the elbow helping that shoulder, and again. And now bring your arm across, give a gentle pull, look over the shoulder, and now look straight ahead. Now open up your band wide, slip it right under your feet, 
And now, you want to have your thumbs pointing up to the ceiling. We're going to start with a bicep curl. I want you to feel that muscle on the front of your upper arm. Take a breath. Look down at your wrist and make sure it's nice and straight. Last one. And now, turn the palm up to the ceiling. Are you breathing? Take a breath. Let's do one more after this. Good job. Now, bicep curl with your thumb up first. Keep breathing. And now we're going to turn the palm up. It's going to use that muscle in just a little different way. Check on their wrist, make sure it's not breaking. Okay, now we're going to take our fingertips and point them down toward the feet. And you're going to pull back and then relax. Pull back with the other arm and relax. Can you feel those muscles in your back contracting? Let's do it together, both arms. Okay, take a breath in, slowly breathe out, squeeze. And let's do about two more. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. If you could just picture them coming close together, let's do a couple more. Squeeze, here's your last one. Picture those shoulder blades, oh, good job. Now, let's cross country ski. One arm forward, one back. Squeeze that shoulder blade. A few more. Are you breathing? Okay, now let's take the band out from under our feet. Wrap it loosely around your palms. We're going to be taking this band up above our heads to end. And if you cannot do that, I want you to watch the modification. We're going to end up here, pulling to the side, and side, and down. Great job. For leg strengthening and stretching exercises, stand directly behind your chair, placing your hand on the center of the chair for balance. If you're more comfortable staying seated, modify the exercises to your comfort level. You're in that great posture, aren't you? Tailbone tucked, rib cage lifted, shoulders back and down. Chin back. Okay, get ready. Touch the right foot forward and back. Now toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Other foot. Forward and back. Toe, toe, heel, heel. <laughs> toe, toe, you look great. Forward, back. We'll do it again. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Forward, back. It's good for balance. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Walk, two, three, and touch. One, two, three, and touch. Good job, guys. Again, one, two, three, and touch. One, two, Let's do a lunge. Almost lost you there. <laughs> okay, another lunge to this side. And to this side again. Shift your weight. And now bring it back to center. Good job. Okay, now we're going to turn to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend. Okay, we're going to take it out to the side now. In just a minute, <laughs> let me get that music ready. It's out, in, out, and in. Two more. And change sides. Out, in. Two more. Okay, we're going to take a big step and turn, face this way. March it out and face front. Big step 
face this side and turn. March it out, you look super. And face front. Okay, rest your toe, take the knee out and in. This is lubricating the hip joint. Out and in, a few more. Last two. Okay, let's change legs. Get your balance here, toes resting out and in. Stand tall and take a deep breath. We're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, remember, it's a leg forward and leg back. Forward, back, forward and back. Toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. This leg, forward and back. Forward, back, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Let's do it all again. Forward, good for the balance. It's toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe. This leg, forward, back, forward, back, toe, toe, heel, heel. <laughs> okay, let's go right into stretching. Take a deep breath. Just automatically think about your posture and breathe out. And again, just right with the music, open up your chest. Press the floor away. Notice how your shoulders fall. And let's shift your weight to this side and this side. Notice how the floor feels below your feet. Notice where your weight is. Side to side. We're going to start with a calf stretch, but I want you to just come up on your toes, lifting your heel, pumping those legs with blood. Now we're going to do a modification, <clears throat> excuse me, modification here. We're going to put one foot forward and one foot back, but those of you who are remaining seated are going to look a little bit different. It's one foot forward, one foot back, forward and back, forward and back. Now on this last one, stay on that back leg, adjust your posture so that your knee is right over your ankle, your back leg should be straight, and if you need to get your feet farther apart, go ahead and do that. Toes should be pointed forward, there's the stretch right there. Lift, lift, pull your hips under. And now take it back down to your calf stretch. Good job. Okay, now walk forward and back, forward and back. Feet are together. Now the other foot, forward and back, forward and back. Now your feet should be wide enough apart Adjust so that your knee's over your ankle, back leg is straight. Lift, hips under, and take it back down. Good job. Take a deep breath. Okay, bring your feet together. Rock back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Now your feet are together. Just shift your weight. Keep shifting. And now we're ready to really slow down and relax. So sit down. I want you to take a deep breath in first. And look at your screen. Such a beautiful, beautiful day with the sun shining and the clouds just drifting by. I want you to think about the lightness of the clouds and enjoy feeling that floating feeling as though you're sitting on that cloud. Breathe in slowly and slowly breathe out. And notice how the clouds can change from dark to light. And so many times that's how our lives go, having dark moments and light moments, but always know that there's a lightness at the very end of the day. Take a deep breath in and smell the beautiful warmth of the air and open up. 
open up and let's keep reaching out for a better day. Thank you for being here. For information on Sit and Be Fit workouts, including those for specialty conditions, or for a complimentary copy of the Sit and Be Fit newsletter, write Sit and Be Fit, P.O. Box 8033, Spokane, Washington, 99203. Or call toll-free 1-888-678-9438. Or visit our website, sitandbefit.org.